What's up guys, welcome back to Komodo Vlogs. Today we are gonna be installing these T-Rex crash bars on my Rebel 300. This is the first install I've ever done, uh, so we'll see how it goes. First things first, let's open it up and see what we're working with. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more Rebel 300 content. Um, I don't really actually know how to open this. Mm. Okay, all right. So we got a lot of plastic, they look well wrapped. Um, I think I want to unwrap these and then, um, I'll get back to you with the, uh, yeah, with them all unwrapped. later all right we're back after some serious unboxing um it is 90 degrees today it's very very hot outside we will both be enjoying a margarita after this <laughs> all right so in the box we have our crash guards themselves um we also have one big bolt here two smaller bolts and our instructions as well the two smaller bolts here would be if you were installing these crash bars on your rebel 500 today all we're going to be worrying about is this one here which is for the rebel 300 installation I personally prefer the blacked out look, which is why I ordered my skid plates in black, but they do come available in a silver color as well. All right, looking at the engine guards, we have four main attachment points. We have the bottom half here, which will mount with this giant bolt that we talked about earlier. And then we have our clamps here, which will mount directly to the frame. All right, let's get this thing started. It should be a pretty easy install, fingers crossed. For this installation, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket because it's a 17 millimeter bolt. And we have an adjustable one as well because you're gonna need it obviously for both sides. And then we also have a six millimeter Allen key. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it's a 15 millimeter to take this one off over here. All right, I don't even know how to do this actually. See, it's starting to go. Is it? Put your back into it. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. Okay, I gave it a fair shot. All right, come and get it. Is that doing it? Oh, now it's spinning on this side. Okay, so now what? Keep going, I'm holding it. So that's what I was saying the adjustable one will be for. Yeah, to hold it, right. And guess... at this point you could probably just like... Right. Yeah. All right, with that nut removed, you just slide the long bolt out. What fell? That was a spacer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that bolt out of the way, all that's left to do is mount them up. This next part is a little bit tricky, so you're probably gonna want a second set of hands. He's here to hold the bars as well as keep the spacer in place while I push the bolt through. Did we already mention that the top clamps got taken off so they could fit, or is that what this is? <laughs> we did not. <laughs> well, now they know. Yeah. All right, so slide it through. And then keep it right there. Hold the bar just like this. I got the bars, and now you can push the bolt all the way through. Okay. Pressure. There you go. Oh, cool. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You can let go of everything. Okay. It's not lining up right. Hmm. It's acting like it needs this spacer. All right, push it back through. Boom. Yes. The bolt is all the way through. We did go ahead and hand tighten this to keep everything in place. And it's worth noting that we also did go ahead and use the spacer that was on the smaller bolts that was used, that would be used for the 500 install. And now it's time to install the top clamps and tighten everything down. All right, we have two pieces of our clamp here. We have the rounded outside and the flat outside. The rounded is gonna go on the inside here on the frame. And then this one is gonna go in between. It's gonna slide up right here. What do I do if it doesn't line up? That's when you just move that. Oh, that way, okay. And then you just I was hand trying to tighten that one to keep it in place. And the washer goes on the outside. Okay, so we did this one like that. Right. <laughs> How are you? Do you want me to throw it up over for you? What's that? Do you want me to throw it up over for you? Uh, yeah, if you can. He's doing spring cleaning, I guess. I suspect. Uh, Hand tightened. Perfect. Now we know everything fits, we're going to go ahead and tighten it down all the way. Oh 
know if that's doing what I want it to. I feel like, is the whole thing supposed to be spinning? I don't know what you're asking, but you're doing it right. There's only one way to do it. Okay. Because what I'm doing over here is mm -hmm. by me holding this nut in place. Yeah. I'm keeping the bolt from spinning while you tighten down the nut. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Should be good. Okay. Boom. Ending guards. Complete. Hell yeah. All right, guys, that was my first ever install. I love the way they turned out, but my brain is totally mush. I'm ready for a margarita. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be on the lookout for some more installs coming soon. Peace. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Why can I English? This is the real parts, though, because I don't know what I'd be doing. What the hell? That don't make no heckin' sense. These are some badass crash bars. Where does that go? I don't know.